powerful. Brown. Pink. It's Captain Flamingo. Tired of being a kid in a world built for grown-ups, Milo Powell decided to become a superhero. He's a shining peak of justice for kids everywhere. With his powerful novelty items. And trusty sidekick Elizabeth. Look out for the colorful and clueless Captain Flamingo. In Flamingo Vision, where available. Jungles of Halberston and area, a ferocious man eating beast terrorizes our desperate hero. <laughs> it's enough to scare you away. Huh? <laughs> but the danger is far from over. <gasps> Shape already. My beak, my backpack. Uh oh, Flamingo! <sighs> <sighs> Captain, what happened to your uniform? No time for that, Elizabeth. There's a kid in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Well, cousin, you look like something the cat coughed up. Don't you know when you're not wanted, Wendell? Take a hike. Help me, Captain! Huh? <gasps> 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 My superpowers! <gasps> Hang on, Max. I'll be right back. Never mind, Captain. I will move the knot already. <laughs> Man, it's officially time to get new superhero gear. But how? I'm officially out of cash. Hmm. <gasps> Here's how. <laughs> we'll have a flamingo party and get donations. You'll be new and improved. Just think, Captain Flamingo, version two. A party? How sweet. How inspiring. And we invite everybody except your cousin. <gasps> how dare they? Perfect! What could go wrong? <clears throat> we'll see you later then, cuz. You want money? Why? Because it's time we saved our hero. And now, presenting our shining beak of justice, Captain Flamingo! Look at all that heroism. If it wasn't for the captain, you'd still be in trouble. <sighs> <gasps> but what's he done for us, wait we? Coasting on his reputation. Plus, he spends half his time rescuing like this. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh sorry. And this, the shining beak of cluelessness. <laughs> That's the point. His costume holds him back. He needs a new one. Uh. <laughs> Fine. We'll be back. In the meantime... Whoa! Horror movie we're not supposed to watch! 
Whoa! I thought it was just my outfit, but my reputation's trash too. Hmm. <gasps> Don't worry. Before long, they'll be begging a certain heroic water bird to save them, and I know just how. What are you doing with my monster brand monster mask with real monster action? Just keep your tights on, Captain. Because as soon as they get scared from that movie, I'm sending in a real-life fake monster, and you'll save them. So get ready to hero. Ah! Oh, I just hope it's not too late. Ta-da! Perfect. Was we frightening? <laughs> yeah. Good thing we don't have monsters like that in real life. Ah, who could that be? Gee, I hope it isn't a monster. <laughs> What's everybody screaming about? <laughs> Wait a second here. If that's and um, that's, then that means. <laughs> Elizabeth, nice job on the fake monster. <laughs> Captain, could I see you a minute? No time to chat, Elizabeth. I've got a bunch of kids to save from this terrifying monster. Uh, yeah, about that. With this extra gummy brand quadruple bubble gum. Red hot flavor. <laughs> Helpless friends, stay calm. I've got him exactly where I want him. Um, Captain, there's something I ought to tell you. Not now, Elizabeth. I'm grandstanding. See, I know a thing or two about basic monster design. Those bolts, if I unscrew them, then his head will fall right off. Elizabeth, hand me my Don't Try This at Home brand multi omni super tool. Uh, but Captain... Hurry! <laughs> 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 uh oh! I righty tidied instead of lefty loosying. Quick, Lisbeth! Yeah. Robar! Jack him! Boy, good thing this monster's not real. Then we'd really be in trouble. Especially if I did this! And this! Or this! What flavor? What bravado! Uh, that's the fake monster I made over there, okay? The one you're tormenting is real! Ah! We're all gonna get eaten! No, we're not! Cause Captain Flamingo is here. He'll save the day, just like he always does. <laughs> Captain, the monster looks squeezy angry. I'm out of here. Uh, Two, three, three. <laughs> Me, four. <laughs> Wait, of course you'll save us. <sighs> of course I'll save you. Oh, well, at least he will outgrow in blaze of glory. Okay, for brain, I'll bite. How do I defeat this terrible monster? That's it. What if the monster's not really horrible? Not horrible. Just look at it. Ugh. But what if we're misjudging it? Just like everybody misjudged me. What if this whole kid eating stereotype is just that? A label. 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 A label, yes. This monster was probably made by a mad scientist, right? So we find the label, call him, and get him to come and pick up his evil creation. Huh? Now, where do you find a label on somebody? Oh, yeah, the underpants. <laughs> Genius! The captain just gave the monster a monster wedgie. You guys, you better split. I have to finish him off. It could get ugly. Hmm. Proper 
Coyote of Wendell Howell? Uh. Wendell! Please, please, don't expose me anymore. I beseech you. Then remember that hike I suggested you take back in scene three? <laughs> he made Monster look as bad as that obvious fake Monster. Huh? I was on a budget, okay? Yeah! yeah. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Remember when the captain totally gummed up the monster? <laughs> and when he leaped onto a monster's beefy muscle shoulder? And then he started pulling on his nostrils? <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you back, Captain. Good to be back, Lisbeth. Yes, once again, our hero proves all's well that ends in cold hard cash. Captain Flamingo! Looking out for kids in a big way. Mm.